What you are looking at are stem cells that hopefully will be in outer space next month. For this particular experiment, we're going to be sending stem cells to space, to the International Space Station, to study how low gravity can impact cell division, cell growth, and also being able to introduce DNA into these cells. Dr. Arun Sharma and a team of researchers at Cedar sinai led by Dr. Clive Svensson, have been studying stem cells and testing the hypothesis that low gravity will help the cells grow faster. The gravity pulls these cells in a certain direction. It turns out in zero gravity, that effect is no longer there. The, the stress is not there pulling on the cells the whole time. And under those conditions, we think they're going to grow better, uh, they may grow faster. And when we try and turn them into the critical cells we need for healthcare, they may do it better. And lift off. As a first step last year, stem cells were sent into space to see how they would fare. This experiment is the first time induced pluripotent stem cells will be produced in space by astronauts. The experiment is funded by NASA in partnership with Axion Space. So the astronauts will be growing these stem cells in culture dishes, in stem cell dishes, for a period of about one week in low Earth orbit. They will be changing the cell nutrients on a daily basis. They'll be examining how well the cells actually grow and divide in low Earth orbit in space. And they'll also be introducing DNA into these cells to see how well the cells can actually take up new DNA. Using this microscope, you can see these pluripotent stem cells that were grown into heart cells actually beating. A pluripotent stem cell can be turned into nearly any cell type found in the body. This is important because for clinical therapies, we want a large number of cells, whether it's heart cells, liver cells, brain cells, uh, for treating different types of diseases. And if we can grow more of these cells in a better way, whether it's in low gravity or whether it's here on the earth, it is an advantageous thing for clinical trials and clinical therapies. The Cedars-Sinai team will be heading to Cape Canaveral to witness history as their experiment lifts off into space. I definitely describe myself as a space geek. I grew up in a, a small town in Alabama that has a NASA base, and that's kind of how I got into this field in the first place. I was able to intersect my two passions in biology and space in this project. It's really a dream come true.